Take two, I suppose. Welcome to Ostrieve. I am Brennan of the Brennan Co. And today we're going to be playing my favorite game right now. Ostrieve. And this is the second attempt at making this video. I recorded a whole 30 minute setup and what we're going to do right now. But I didn't push the mic button. Because instead of it just turning on with the recording software, I have to push the other button. So, here we go. Take two. We're going to build our starting setup, get our houses down, and get winter coming. Because it is coming. Boom. So you start with a couple of unemployed people. They're supposed to go work here right away once it gets built. We're going to put them to work even quicker. So it gets built a little quicker. Flip this around. We're going to have a clay pit. We need that to build our houses. Everything else we have ready to go for our first nine houses before winter comes and ruins our day. It might be a little too close to that tree. I don't know. I don't like to do the tree removals first thing first, but maybe one tree won't be a big deal. So I gotta cut down some trees anyways. Might as well. Might as well put it to work right away, huh? That's all I want to do there. I don't want to go too crazy on these trees here. That might push us into the harshness of winter and have people move out. Boom. They've got little decorations that we could use for this, but... Not worth it, in my opinion. Not yet. We need function over beauty. So these houses have gardens, and our people will be able to grow food and such with them. Which is very nice. For the meta to grow the city. Yeah. Get everything to be squared tight, but we do what we can. We'll probably build that house first, take that tree down, build that house next. So we got six and three more. This is a boring setup. I've been playing around with more fun, exciting setups, but this map and what we got right here to start, I'm just going to fill this area with some houses. And that's that. Bump the game speed. And we'll take a look around before we go into super speed mode in the edit. We got rock over here. This rock is necessary for mid-game items. We need a stone mine camp. We'll probably place right over here somewhere. So the stone mine camp picks up rock and it picks up limestone, which we also have on this island over here and over here. And lime kiln needs stone and limestone for its building processes. Hoping to hire some forestry workers. We're gonna fire these people. And then rehire whoever can work. Okay, they're gonna get get to build in the city. Our village here. 
And then we're going to think about production. So first things first, we're going to need a thatchery. There's thatchery over here. They collect these reeds along the water lines and build thatch for the top of the houses. They build stuff there. The farm. A couple of other the sheep farm, pigsty, cow shed, chicken coop. They use thatch. The houses use thatch. The tavern uses thatch. The tavern. Mid game item. 200 pops is the requirement there. Won't be needing that for quite a while. You also need some booze. We'll also need some booze. So they're getting the houses built. We're going to place down our smithy, which is the first most important building. Oh, why aren't you? There we go. Need to be built before the thatcher, the smithy. We can get some more nails to keep building. So here's our house. Don't like where these guys set up there, but okay. Oh, there he goes. Yep, see, he's got his little farm going. So once the next season comes around, why? There we go. Why wasn't the T, T button working when it's not supposed to? So, Smithy. Some charcoal going. So charcoal. Good way to make some quick easy money at the beginning of the game. Once you get a trade post down, sell eight thousand charcoal bits for five hundred and sixty gold coins. <clears throat> and that's the, that's the easiest, quickest way without having to do a whole bunch of work. Because the other stuff that makes you money from trade. You need a whole bunch of work for. I mean, we're talking clothes, shoes, other stuff that just requires multiple things to get it even into production. I mean, to get shoes, you need the shoemaker who needs leather, which needs the tannery. And the tannery needs hides, which come from our cows and our sheep. And they have different hides. Cow hide does. Leather, sheep hide does sheep hide, and sheep hide goes to warm clothes, sheep skin, they call it. So then, so yeah, for the shoes, so that's the tannery. We need bark, lime, salt, and water. So then we're also going to need that salt mill, which requires stone to be built. So yeah, to get up to the point where you need shoes, it takes a lot to get into it. And as of this latest patch, I've been noticing that I've been having people requesting shoes quite earlier than I'm used to. Not too early to where it's it's right about when I should be getting my tannery going, but not easy, not quick enough. Usually lose a couple of people, but it's not that bad. By the time we're losing people to shoes... We're going to have extra houses, and they'll just be giving us even more houses to have settled. Speaking of houses, let's uh, start placing the future houses so we can get people moved in quickly. <clears throat> How to get people to move in, we need a market, we need houses, and we need jobs. Water supply, I usually go ham on and have way too much water so we won't have an issue there in the future we're going to need a market stall just to get it started we won't put anything there yet while it's on my mind we are going to place the granary the granary is going to go over here so my idea is this area over here is going to be our farmland. See, I place these hay dryers here. We're going to put our cows and our 
sheep along the riverbank. We put out a nice little water jetty platform so they can be well fed. Uh, they can drink well. What's next? So the, we still need our carpentry, which is a very important building. It does the carts. And it does, it'll make, um, what you might call it, plows for our oxen when those are a thing. Six tents, one, two, three, four, five, six houses. Boomsy, boomsy, boomsy. <clears throat> and then we might as well place down the first farm. I'm going to leave this area because it looks raised and not that much. So raised land like here allegedly does better for the, the wheat milling to get flour. I'm not a big flour guy though, so that's something that can wait for a little while. This first farm is going to be Potato, buckwheat, and regular wheat with a fourth field to interchange the fallow. So that way we always have a field going of one of those three. Those three are pretty important for foodstuffs. We can sell potato and buckwheat here. It's along with a lot of other stuff. Um, now all of this vegetables type, like the beetroot, the cabbage, the carrots, the cucumbers, onions. Those are made here in our garden houses. And then what we can do is when our granary is built, we can buy food from them, buy whatever they're making. He's got something coming here, carrots, beetroots, whatnot. We could buy them for a granary. And then our granary can sell it to the market stall. The market stall sells it to the people. And the people can buy it and make us money. As you can see, local sales. This year we've sold $24 worth of stuff. That stuff was firewood because that's the only thing we have on market right now is firewood. You can also sell firewood at the market stalls along with Orilka and mead, which we will get from trade later in the game. Um, gotta have the booze to get the tavern to come in. And then people will buy booze, pork, meat products, salo, which is like bacon. And beef and mutton will come from our slaughterhouse once that is built and once we actually have that needed. Chicken coop doesn't need a slaughterhouse, they just do chicken, eggs, and meat. But before you can get any of those, we need a trading post. And I don't like anywhere that we have a place or trading post. This can't. But it's okay, we'll put it right there. And get our fishing village down too. I like to make fishing villages. About the time this fishing village is needed, we'll build out some houses over here. Fish is a good way to get food. It can only be done in the non-snowy months, which is like from the end of November to the beginning of March. So we're not gonna worry about it this season, maybe not even next season. That's a good way to get some quick, easy food. Just sell some fish at the fishmonger. Once we get salt, we can then start producing dried fish. But that will be at a later date. The salt's going to need all this rock. Now, 
Not enough food for sale, no housing available. We'll work on all that. We do have the jobs. No entertainment, no religious buildings. That is the tavern and this guy, or the church. But we don't need that for a hundred. But I do. I like to pick out a nice little quiet area. Protect the trees around it. And build our cemetery. Now this won't be necessary for quite a while, <clears throat> but it doesn't cost anything. Build them. We can protect that tree. Shouldn't have to worry about these trees getting slashed down since our forest tree is over here and he's going to slash all these down first. <clears throat> but here we are. If you can slash in, we might as well. well that'd be a, quite the property line. Jettisoned out. The only problem with building on trees, it's hard to see exactly where the house is and what it's house behaving and build see so, yeah I can't right now it's saying it's not inside yeah it didn't look inside it said it was okay. there we go and I'll just cut down those trees <clears throat> what do we got our smithy our thatchery our carpentry you're gonna wanna farm before house, but it will be built in the winter, so it won't really matter. We are going to want more house. If you are new here, like I am new to YouTube, please leave a like, share, and a subscribe, and comment. We can build a city, we can build a YouTube channel. That's, that's the plan. Let's see our last three houses being built, September, we should be okay, should be. As long as nothing hiccups our our mojo here. I'm going to place this little guy over here. to start getting ready for the farmhouse. The less people have to walk, the better. I don't know if that affects their shoe rating. Seems like the people that I've made walk quite a bit complain about their shoes right away, but not all the time. Like I've had my mayor move out. I usually place our town hall quite close to his house. Which we are going to do now. That, because I want to put a cart park. Right there. Now, the town hall is cool. You can adjust your taxes there. <clears throat> and the price of goods. We got two families of tents. It's end of September. We should be okay. Let's take a look at this building process here. 
putting down the wood. You can hear them nailing. Look at the little dude. Now, I worked construction. This is 100% realistic. I mean, it just all pops together like that. A couple of nails. And boom, the floor's there. Speed them up a little bit. Put down the, the clay, the clay walls. Get the frame in. I think this is what makes this game special compared to other city builders. Not just its location, its setting, and this beautiful Ukraine. Ostrev is Eastern River, East Riv. In Ukraine, Ian. And that's the setting of our game, is on a river. River of life. We have our trading posts there. Our fishing stuff. And then also on the water, a fulling mill. Which we're going to want to put over here eventually. But not right now. Because that's going to take wool when we have sheep. We make broadcloth, which then can go to the tailor's house which goes along with the sheep's skin, and you make warm clothes. Which can also be sold at markets. And when we get to that point, we will need to sell clothes, warm clothes and shoes to the masses. I don't like this. I don't like this. We should be okay. Also on the water, we can get the trading dock. That one I am going to place and pause. I just want it next to the trading post, just for aesthetic. Some people like to put the trading post near the boundary of the map. That I want big building, big building. It's easier. So yeah, this little orange or orange green square here on the red. And I'm pointing at my monitor, which you cannot see. That is the entrance. So whenever we get new people coming in, they're going to come from there. So some people like to put trading posts right there so that they don't have to go far. I really don't mind. It's not that big of a deal. I don't see it affects the game in any way. Especially because I'm usually always playing it on like triple speed times 12. So, so hay dryers are full. We're going to need a hay barrack. Put that down. There. That's a quick, easy build item. Just need some nails and some wood. We should have enough to do that. And that will give our thatcher, one for the, after the thatcher. A little bit more time to work. I've been having Thatcher issues. One house left. We have about a month. This house is not built. This family will move. And we will be off to a little tougher start. That's the best way to put it, but not a whole lot because it looks like that's only one dude. Yeah, one adult dude's not that big a deal. It's the families that, you know, I don't think you start with any of them. But the first families that move in, they usually come with, like, their adult children or their geriatric parents. You'll know, get, like, a 40-year-old a dude, his 19-year-old son, and his 80-year-old parents. And they'll work. Everybody will work. And we've got 80 year olds plopping in the camp center construction, fishing. Age is just a number in Ostrief. And then when they die, when they come, and when they die, they will be over here in our nice little cemetery area that will be developed in the future.
Now the first time I made this, I, this is my second attempt at making this video, like I said I didn't push the commentary button. I put the third set of houses over here, I kind of pushed in more too, it was a little, little awkward so I kind of bumped out. But I mean I was done with my last house at the beginning of November, I mean we, we were making thatch before snow fell. And we are safe, look at that, our town is ready. So keep building. We'll put down single speed here as we wrap up this episode of Austreve. Once again, guys, thank you for joining me. Uh, leave a like, a comment. Let me know how I can improve, what can be done, what you think we should do in Austreve and going forward. If you like my plan, my city build here, our farmland over here. Big Ag over here, Fishing Village, and our production stuffs, money makers, in here. So let me know. We will come back. Episode 2, get through our winter. We'll have our farm set up. Ready for next summer, where we will be bringing in more houses, more people. more population. Alrighty. Thank you all. I will catch you next time.